Hey guys, in this video, I'm going to talk about a live conversations AI implementation. So this is actually a snapshot. This is not just one workflow. I've combined it uh, into many workflows and then this is actually a snapshot. And one of the things we struggle a lot with while using conversations AI is uh, the follow up process. So let's say you, uh, you know, the bot receives a message from someone like a lead or a prospect and then replies and then does not get a reply back. Uh, we don't have a process in the default conversations AI to uh, follow up. So in this in this version, in, the, in this implementation, I've solved that. And again, this is a snapshot. And if you want to purchase this, there's a link in the video's description where you can go and purchase this. So without further ado, let's go ahead and uh, look at the implementation. Oh, by the way, let me just show you one of the conversations I had with this, which was a pretty simple one. But, you know, once you see the workflow, you'll see, you know, how it works. It may look very complicated at the beginning, but it's really not once I explain it to you. Anyway, so I just did a test by saying, hey, and then it asked me if I want to book an appointment. Then I said, yes, please. Then I, it asked me a qualifying question. So I'm asking a couple of qualifying questions. One of the questions being, what's your phone number? So once it gives the phone number, once the lead, or in this case, me, once I gave the phone number, it just updated the contact automatically. I didn't have to do anything. And then the second question, for the second qualifying question, it asked, what type of business do you own? And you can totally customize this, by the way. It doesn't have to be these particular questions. So then it gave me the booking link. And then, it, uh, you know, uh, you know, if if the lead asks any other co uh, any other questions, they will be addressed as well. So once that's done, you know, the bot actually terminates the session and we will see how it works along with the follow up, uh, along with the follow up uh, use case handlings. We will see all that now. So let's go to automation. Now, so this is where it starts. It has a few folders. The first one is appointment booking bot, uh, you know, in different channels. So these workflows are literally the same. They just work in different channels. So this one, for example, works in Instagram, which is dropped Uh This one on Messenger, this one on SMS. If you want to do it on WhatsApp, literally just duplicate this workflow. Just do this and then do WhatsApp. You know just so you know it works in different channels so let's say i want it in whatsapp right and all i need to do is uh here wherever the conversation ai bot is implemented i just need to change it to whatsapp that's it so i'll just literally change every conversation ai uh you know channel to whatsapp here so you don't have to see me uh you know do it I just need to show you how it works. So anyway, again, just so you know, these all these are same, literally the same. You just need to implement it in a specific channel. So let's say someone messages you or someone submits the form, like a lead form or any kind of form that's created in a high level, and then the bot initiates because that form had the phone number. So the phone number is in the system now. That, so this is the personality of the bot and they are interrelated so i have actually as you can see implemented loads of um you know bots and it looks like a giant spider web which is not very complicated once i explain it to you so don't get frustrated don't get nervous so once the form is submitted i'm initiating the bot conversation that's basically what i'm doing and as you can see this is the personality so here in this box i'm defining the personality of the bot right and what it's saying is basically this is the about company and it these are all custom values. So if you again, if you buy the snapshot, all you need to do is just update the custom values and it will start working uh, anyway. So um, these are all defining the personality of the bot. Nothing else. This one is the instruction set. So in the instruction set, all I'm doing is I'm just giving it a bit more personality and I'm giving it I'm, I'm, I'm just guiding it on how to reply what's the best possible way to reply to a to a query or a or an answer or a question so these are all just defining how the bot should react and as an additional instruction i'm just saying stick to the question so what's the question this is the question so the first question is if the person wants to book an appointment right if the person wants to book an appointment and by the way if you don't purchase it you need to know how to implement it so you need to know how it works right so stick till the end i promise you i'll explain the whole thing so so there are three use cases so what i'm doing is here in branches it can be no condition met so 
the bot response limit is like if the person instead of addressing this question instead of answering this question if the person if the lead keeps the conversation rolling there will be 10 replies that the bot will receive that's not and uh, you know within those 10 replies if the condition is not met this will be you know this branch will execute for that lead and the lead will be moved to not booked pipeline stage right so the bot failed after 10 you know back and forth conversations to book an appointment if the bot times out which means we are waiting for basically we're just waiting for an hour so we are waiting for timeout so the bot reply you know the bot replies do you want to book an appointment and waits for one hour and then if it times out then it goes to first follow-up and it will go to that but what if it's a positive answer if what if the person says okay i want to book an appointment then this branch will be executed and the lead or the prospect will be moved to ask the first qualifying question right and that that's again let's let's go to this and let me show you how it works so let's say the uh, the, the lead said i want to book an appointment so then the question will be the qualifying question whatever you define it in custom values and again it, it will wait for one hour right so now from the first one right uh, if the person says okay if the person does not say anything one hour passes and then it goes to first follow-up so what the first follow-up is doing is it basically asks any question that haven't been answered yet so you, this might get a bit confusing but this whole workflow acts like a brain so if the person does not answer qualifier one then this branch will have that information right if the person does not uh, you know answer the qualifying question one then this follow-up bot will be basically asking the same question and then you know it, it'll just follow up if the if the bot answers you know uh let's say this uh let's say the person was moved here and then uh said okay are you still there you know the bot will say are you still there or it it's pretty similar we can't really control literally what it says but it will be pretty similar and if the bot if sorry if the lead replies that yes i am then it will be moved through this go to it will be moved to qualifier one all right so because the person did not answer qualifier one that's how it's designed so as you can see has not answered qualify well, qualifier one similarly if the person says i want to book an appointment goes to qualifier one and answers qualifier one goes to qualifier two and then goes you know goes cold then it will be moved to follow up so if it times out as you can see it will be moved to follow up right so now it will follow up it will follow up saying hey are you still there uh, I'm waiting to hear from you or, you know, just so you know, I'm still there if you want to ask any questions. And then the person replies. Now this bot has information that qualifier one was answered by the lead, but qualifier two hasn't been answered. So that's why it's ask it's checking a couple of things. Has the person answered qualifier one? Has the person answered qualifier two? If if hasn't answered qualifier two, then move here. Similarly, like you know timeout then you know and then same thing for second follow-up literally the same thing for second follow-up so if the person goes through first follow-up does not answer it will be moved to second follow-up and if it still doesn't answer then we will move this lead to not booked and then there will be other sequence that will be executed right now in the best case scenario the person answers qualifier one qualifier two then it will be asked to book an appointment basically just sending a link because i don't want to use that appointment booking bot like uh, there's another appointment booking uh bot here i don't really um rely on this because it, it has it has some weird features that i don't really like and it, it acts weird sometimes so i don't really use that I, I just literally just send uh you know the calendar link to the lead once the lead is qualified this is basically just qualifying and then warming up the lead before the actual appointment so i send the link through the uh through conversation ai again this person does not reply or does not book it goes to follow up again first follow up second follow up and then if they reply uh you know the bot will see okay this person has answered qualifier one and two so let's just give the person the calendar link you know that's how it works so you know this is the first follow up this is the second follow up and then it moves to uh you know not booked if it if the person books and then says okay i have booked then this is a thank you message it's pretty much a static message that gets sent to the person and that's it that's the termination so 
this is the entire thing hope it uh, I, I i actually tried my best to explain but honestly things can get a bit complicated when you're working with such an advanced uh, feature of high level so we've talked about the bot and this this can be configured right now this one is being configured on sms so this will work on sms because literally all the all the actions of conver uh, conversation ai says sms here so if you want to have it work on any other channel literally just duplicate the bot and change all the actions of conversation ai to that channel you want it to work on so this is pretty much it for the bot now what happens if the person does not reply you know or if the bot somehow for some reason fails to book the appointment then the person will be moved to a pipeline stage called not booked based on that there's this uh, you know six sms sequence or you know you can again you can duplicate it for the corresponding uh channel and then uh you know w once it's done it's done it'll be just there so you can just you know do whatever you want with it later if the person does not book at all and there's this appointment confirmation reminder sequence there's a missed appointment sequence as well i've gone through this you know i think millions of times in my channel so i don't want to show you how an appointment confirmation reminder works um you know this is not a video about that but you know this is the entire snapshot guys so if you want to purchase it again it's there's a link in the description go ahead and buy it and you know go crazy change anything you want but the entire infrastructure is already implemented so all you need to do is just you know once you load it on any of the sub accounts just go to custom values and update literally just update all these uh, custom values because this these will be copied over to your uh, snapshot so yeah that's it for this video hope this was helpful if even if you don't want to buy it just you know hopefully the implementation that i just went through will help you implement version um, you know a version of that for your own use so that's it for this video guys i will see you in the next one